Welcome to the Finance Up channel. Before viewing, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and click on the bell. Let's go. In this video, you will learn the most unexpected and new news for the XRP cryptocurrency, as well as the latest forecasts. Before starting the video, try to guess how much one token will cost in two weeks and write your answer in the comments. If someone manages to guess the exact figure, we will transfer 130 tokens to his wallet. Subscription and like under the video are mandatory conditions for participation. I remind you that at the moment one token costs $1.07 closely followed trader and analyst Credible Crypto says that Ripple's native asset XRP is setting up for a massive surge to a new all-time high. In a new tweet, the crypto trader says that XRP's current downward correction is approaching the crucial 0.618 Fibonacci retracement support a level that many traders keep a close eye on for a possible bounce. According to the crypto strategist, $1.07 is a prime area to catch a ride to the stratosphere on XRP. For traders more confident in XRP and less concerned about the perfect entry point, the $1.12 to $1.20 range is also a viable place for a bullish bid. FLR tokens will be airdropped to a vast majority of XRP holders in late quarter 2, 2021. U.S.-based certified public accountant, James Yachum, took Twitter to elaborate on how taxation norms could potentially affect FLR's airdrop to XRP holders. Yachum asserted that FLR holders would be put at an unfair tax disadvantage. He pointed out that FLR airdrop was taxable and cited the IRS Revenue Ruling 1924. Flare Network, however, went on to clarify that Yachum's claims were contrary to the conclusions they sought from other U.S.-based tax lawyers. They further requested holders to consult a professional if they were concerned. Bank of America's head of global banking has heaped praise on cryptocurrency project Ripple and its ability to integrate with traditional banking services. Speaking on a podcast, Bank of America's Julie Harris discussed emerging payment options for businesses and how it can improve efficacy. It's not about our platform and our capabilities, it's about you as a client and the infrastructure you have and the ability for us to integrate, whether that's with platforms and capabilities that we build or partnerships that we have with the likes of Ripple or Swift. She said, these are fintechs that we're partnering with. They've come through all of our rigor of legal and compliance and we're able to leverage our banking as a platform to deliver that to you. Speculation surrounding Ripple's ambiguous partnership with the Bank of America has been mounting over the past four years, with Ripple revealing in October that they had been working with the bank since 2016. Thus far no details of the partnership have been announced by either Ripple or the Bank of America, but we can assume it's based around cross-border payments in light of Harris' comments on Ripple alongside Swift. The price of Ripple's XRP token has remained stable in spite of the comments and subsequent rumors, with it now trading along the 20 cents level of resistance flip support. Ripple is a real-time gross settlement system. It can trace its roots to 2004 when a web developer called Ryan Fugger had the idea to create a monetary system that was decentralized and could effectively allow individuals to create their own money. It is one of the largest cryptocurrencies and is one of the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market capitalization. Potentially moving the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission lawsuit against Ripple Labs in a new direction, XRP holders have filed a motion to intervene in the litigation as a third-party defendant. How much will XRP cost in the end 2021? Write your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, then subscribe now. In the following videos, there will be a lot of interesting things. See you soon.